Good morning everyone and welcome back for another video with the EV Puzzle. Today I'm out in the Mini Electric really early on a Sunday morning. I thought I would come out and film the driving route, the access into GridServe Norwich. So GridServe Norwich, it's a huge electric charging hub now opening in Norwich towards the end of April, early May. And uh, I thought because of the nightmare nature of the junction that it's on, I would do a video explaining the problem and explaining how to access it. I'm sure there's probably a more succinct way, an easier way of telling you uh, all of these details, but you know me, I like to give you as much detail as possible. So anyway, I'll try and speed the video up in uh, a couple of places, but other than that, it'll be at normal driving speed. So uh, if it's a little bit slow and takes a while, you know, it's just the way I'm doing it. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, we're looking for the exit now. And I'm starting with an approach from the east as if we're coming from Great Yarmouth on the A47. And the junction name we're looking for is Poswick or Postwick for those not from Norfolk. If you miss the junction and keep going on on the A47, it's about a 10 mile loop back that you have to do. There's no other exits uh, for another 5 miles or so. Forty mile an hour limit, so watch your speed. And we're approaching a little mini roundabout. We're going to go straight across that, and uh, basically it's the park and ride roundabout. So on the left hand side, there's a, an old park and ride site which has been commandeered for a COVID test centre. So as I said, that was straight across the roundabout. What we're looking for is the middle lane that describes Norwich East Broadland Business Park. Now we're actually aiming for Broadland Gate, and that does say in the right-hand lane, but don't take the right-hand lane. Keep in the middle lane. This is just typical Norwich with road signs and road systems. The only thing they do well is put bus lanes in and cycle lanes. Everything else is pretty much a mess and there's nearly always roadworks. So what we're looking for now is Broadland Gate, like I said, you can see that on the bottom right hand side of the sign coming up now. So yet another bridge and crossing the A47 again. This roundabout does access Broadland Gate and uh, grid serve directly, so that's what we're looking for, that little white sign. So not the first exit. Not the second exit. And the sign's a little hard to see into the sun here, but there it is. Broadland Gate, we take this one. And GridServe is uh, directly where the sun is. You can just see the building. So it's only a few hundred metres. Coincidental, of course, that it's haloed by the sun. But here's the entrance. And at the moment, there's always security people there. That's <laughs> preventing anyone from going in there. But the, there's a lot of inquiries, a lot of people turning and doing exactly what I'm doing here. But for most people, you'll come in on the A47. So you'll either come in via Kings Lynn, because you've come down from Lincolnshire, Yorkshire, that sort of direction, or from Peterborough. Even if you've come up from the south and you're going to come in on the M11, A11, you'll join Norwich here on the bypass that goes around on the A47 around the southern side of Norwich. Aiming for GridServe, which is on the east side. Just before the exit for GridServe, um, you'll see a bridge and you'll be going over that. And uh, if you look on the left, you'll see that there's the river. And you'll be looking for the exit that says POSIC or Postwick for those non-Norfolk folk. You'll know you're in the right place. There's a large Audi dealership on the left hand side. The exit takes you this direction, straight towards GridServe, but the really odd thing is, there's no access to GridServe from this junction. 
the bizarre thing is there used to be. There used to be access onto this roundabout, but there isn't any more. They've removed it. So excuse the stitched together pictures, but this is basically where we are. So that's grid surf. And this is the direction from the slip road from the A47, heading all the way up to the roundabout where grid serve is, but there's no access from that roundabout. Access is actually from this roundabout. So what you have to do is pass grid serve on the left hand side, keep going to the next roundabout and take a left, then take another left and another left past Lidl and McDonald's and then you'll arrive at grid serve. Or the alternative is to arrive at the roundabout from the slip road on the A47 in exactly the same way as shown here, then go around the roundabout, not like I'm doing an illegal turn here, across the flyover, you're crossing the A47, down to a junction at the bottom, turn right over another bridge, crossing the A47 again, round a roundabout, and take the Broadland Gate exit, and then you'll find Grid Serve. They're both about the same distance and same time. It's a really bad piece of road design by the Norfolk Highways Agency. You arrive at grid serve and you cannot get to it. You're literally right on the edge of it. You can see it, you can feel it, smell the coffee. You just cannot access it without doing a loop to the left or a loop to the right. And this is what it looks like. So this is taking a loop to the right, going all the way around the roundabout. So we've arrived from the A47. This is the roundabout that you'll uh, meet and see grid serve. You go all the way around it to the right hand side and then take the exit which is describing the park and ride. There's no other sign other than saying park and ride. Keep in the outside lane, you want to be going right at the bottom. So yep, Norwich, east and north, that's the lane you want to be in. Traffic lights at the bottom of this hill. This really is like a mini spaghetti junction. Why on earth Norwich Council or Highways did this, I have no idea. Especially when there was a good road there to start with. So don't blame GridServe. GridServe have just got a really good site. It's the Norfolk Council that designed these roads. They are useless. So we take a right hand turn there, crossing the A47 again. And watching here for the road sign, Broadland Gate, that's what we're looking for. Now there's a Broadland Business Park as well, so you've got to watch for the right one. It's the little white sign that we're looking for. The right turn at the roundabout. Not this exit, the green sign posted one, it's now the one that's uh, obscured by the sun. And there's the sign there, Broadland Gate. You can just see it. Take that exit and you're onto the industrial park. Grid serve is literally where the sun is, so you can just see grid serve now. It's only a few hundred yards. On the left hand side they're building a new Jaguar dealership and uh, a new police headquarters. Hopefully by the time it opens, a lot of this uh, roadworks will have disappeared and it'll be uh, a lot easier to access and a lot prettier as well. But here we are. This is the entrance to GridServe. The alternative, instead of doing that loop, is as you approach this roundabout from the A47 junction, you've got GridServe on the left keep flowing round to the left so you're keeping grid serve to the left and we're going to take that you'll actually be in that lane where that blue car was so you'll be uh, coming off the a47 in this lane here and you're going to want to take the first left at this first roundabout basically it's just left and left and left it takes about two maybe three minutes and it's uh, just over a mile and both of these loops take about the same time and they're about the same distance, so whichever one you prefer. Coming up to another roundabout at the bottom, and we're going to be turning left again.
little bit awkward here though, it's sort of a give way here but not very well signed, so uh, watch as you pull out onto the junction that something's not coming around. And here we go again, we've got another left hand turn. And we've now got Lidl coming up on the left hand side here and they've got a 50 kilowatt rapid in there. And with the price of prod point just being 26 pence at the moment, that's quite a good rapid uh, charger at the moment. And then you've got McDonald's there on the left hand side, but we're taking a right turn at this final roundabout. And that brings us into Broadland Gate from the opposite direction. So that's grid serve just on the horizon there. Not into the sun this time, we're coming in from the opposite direction. And there's the entrance. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed that and hope you find it useful. That's the idea of the video, something to have a look at before you head over to Norwich to find GridServe so that you're not too confused by this awful junction and uh, you're not going to get lost either. So I hope it does help, hope it saves a few people from getting a bit stressed on this junction and uh, look forward to seeing you there. It's my local hub so I probably will be popping in fairly often for a Costa coffee, I do like Costa. Anyway, take care, see you again soon, more videos, electric cars, home storage batteries solar panels all the good stuff hope you're interested and hope you're following the journey see you again soon bye for now